Okay, so this first training video, um, we're going to explain how the keyboard is laid out. Um, there are different colors, there's different layers for Photoshop and Lightroom. Um, we're going to just spend five minutes and just explain to you uh, how it is that we've laid this out. Rest assured that the layout of the keyboard was designed by a team of wedding and portrait photographers. Um, we took a lot of input based on uh, everybody's editing style and tried to make it as flexible as possible. So, um, first of all, let's talk about the colored or top of the keys. Um, so you'll see these keys like Escape, Edit in Photoshop, or Edit in Other, Star Plus, Star Minus. Um, we come down here, we've got Exposure Plus and Exposure Minus. So the first thing you need to know is that the top of the keys, the, le the colored keys, are designed for editing in Lightroom. Um, so you, that's, that is kind of what most people use the keyboard for as a primary function, and then they use the Photoshop side of it as their alternate function. Um, but 80% of people use Light, 8% of our users use Lightroom mostly, and then add up and use the Photoshop functionality as an add-on. And then we've got about 20% of users who use the Photoshop functionality um, and use the occasional uh, Lightroom. So, um, if you were to press this key right here, the one that says Exposure Plus and Exposure Minus, um, in Lightroom, the exposure would go up. Um, if you were to hold down with your thumb, you'll notice that the bottom sets of keys um, are kind of a mirror image of each other. So, works left-handed and right-handed. If you hold down with your thumb uh, the Option 1 key and then press Exposure, exposure is going to go down. You'll notice that the colored keys have um, a slash on them. Many of them have a slash on them. And that's because the primary function is what's before the slash and the secondary function, is, which is after the slash, is what you requires you to hold down the option key, the first option key. So we've got, we've got option one and we've got um, option two. So um, let's talk about key colors. Okay, Your blue keys over here on the left hand side are designed for activating 24 of your most used Lightroom presets. Okay, the, If you press one of these keys, it's going to grab your favorite preset in the library module of Lightroom. On the right hand side, you've got your red keys. These are for your retouching presets, your, um, for retouching presets in the develop module, um, and for basically all things develop module related. So again, blue is library module presets, red is develop module adjustments and presets, and when you were in grade school, if you took blue paint and red paint and mixed it together, you got purple paint. Um, so the keys in the middle work in both library and the develop module of Lightroom. Um, the blue keys you'll notice have both an option, so basically primary function, then a slash two and a slash slash three. So obviously, if you wanted to activate the third preset on a key, you'd hold down the option two key. I know this sounds really confusing, but as soon as you start to play, it will all make sense to you. There are a few keys on the RPG key that have a dot over them. Okay, um, color gray as is, is an example. Okay, if you press the color and gray key in the top right corner, it's going to convert in Lightroom. It's going to convert a photo from color to black and white. And if you don't like it, you hit it again, and it's going to go back. So again, the the keys with the dots we call them toggle keys. Okay. Um, Green keys are kind of multi-purpose keys, um, and um, orange keys are for ranking and flagging. And then, of course, your black keys are your option one and option two keys. Um, in Photoshop, the bottom half of every key, the gray, is for your Photoshop editing. Now, we have included in the install a whole bunch of RPG actions that are meant to mimic these purple keys. So many of our customers will use the Photoshop tool Okay, and make this key activate exposure up and exposure down actions in Photoshop. Um, that way it's a very organic. You know, we've got um, increase your blacks action, um, recovery action, up and down. So you don't have to do this, but a lot of people will make the center cluster of keys that um, does kind of basic adjustments in Lightroom, have it do the same thing in Photoshop. Um, another little tip is that um, the blue keys here, which are Lightroom presets in Lightroom, um, a lot of people will make them similar Photoshop actions. So if, for example, in Lightroom you have this key set up to do you know, your three favorite vignettes, then you might decide to use the Photoshop tool to make this your favorite vignette in Photoshop. You don't have to. It's, it's the Photoshop side of our keys, totally programmable, but it's just a little tips you know, to help you kind of keep it straight um, and keep it organized in your head. Um, so 
that's the basic layout of the keys. Um, obviously, we're here to help you, and we just want you to understand the, you know, kind of the, the basic layout and, and, and where it all comes from. Um, and we're, all, of course, always here to help you train. So uh, that's the keyboard layout.